Michelle Jolly, Brand Manager for FCM in the Americas. I'd like to introduce you to a new series of videos we'll be launching within our corporate brands, showcasing our staff members taking their first forays back to business travel across the Americas. Today, I'll be sitting down with Joe Andres, Senior VP for FCM Americas, who recently traveled on Delta Airlines. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. Glad to be here. So I believe this was your first trip in a few months. Uh, what was the purpose of it? Yes, uh, we had an opportunity to meet with uh, Delta in Atlanta. They wanted to really showcase, um, you know, the travel experience as it is today. That's great. That's great to hear you getting back on the road. Um, and speaking of on the road, what was it like on the way to the airport? Was it uh, different than usual? Yeah, it was a little bit of a unique experience because I uh, used my Uber and picks me up like normal, I sat in the back seat. Uh, but also, too, is the Uber driver had to put a mask on and then take a snapshot of himself um, that would then turn on the application uh, for my ride. Once that was accomplished, uh, we, normal trip to the airport, pretty decent traffic. Uh, we arrived at the Delta Curb in Philadelphia, and um, it, you know, it was pretty pretty normal, I have to say, other than the application piece for the Uber. So no, no problems there. And, and then the piece about going through um, the check-in area, uh, you can see that the way they've had it up, the social distancing, the plastic shields from the kiosk to the ticket counter, everything was normal except for the most part, the shields and the social distancing uh, line marks on the floor. Once we left the ticketing area, and went up to the TSA area. Once again, it was pretty normal, but in my case in Philadelphia, they don't have clear here uh, set up yet. I know, and in the, as part of this meeting, I was gonna be meeting with Charlie Shuey, who's the director over the Northeast for um, Delta down in Atlanta, and he was originating out of Boston. They do have the clear um, product in Boston, and what's unique about that product, it's biometrics. So you have a chance to use the biometrics instead of touching uh, or as you're going through TSA. And I'm sure you have set routines as you wait for your flight. So this was a bit different, I guess. That is correct. And so made it through TSA. And um, fortunately, prior to my, um, uh, in preparing for my trip, I did talk to Delta and they did kind of advise me that, hey, look, you know, the beverage service is very limited, if any, other than a bottle of water on the flight. And hey, you know, we know you like your coffee, so you know, better stop at Dunkin' Donuts or find a Starbucks before you go. And how was your experience with Delta in terms of boarding and the flight itself? It was really good. It was, it was, hey, look, I look at it this way, uneventful, uh, pretty normal. Uh, once again, we were in the boarding area. They did the social distancing with boarding. They did the rows from the back of the aircraft first. But when you went walk through the jetway, um, they had the social distancing markers on the jetway walls. So you knew where the six foot markers were located uh, with your entire journey down that jetway or the aircraft. The flight crew meets you with a face mask. They hand you a, a Purell wipe uh, as you're boarding the aircraft. And then that gives you the opportunity if you want to either use it, you know, on your tray table, wipe down the screen, wipe down your chair. So I thought that was very thoughtful and it's a nice little um, touch that they provided in their cleanliness uh, model. Then the flight crew will walk through with um, a plastic bag, a baggie, zip, zip baggie. And in that baggie, you'll have a bottle of water, uh, a snack bar, uh, breakfast snack bar, I think it was, and another pack of Purell um, to uh, for whatever for the hands prior or after your um, your service. But that's it. And I, at the same time, I was you know I brought my coffee on board, and you have your coffee and a bottle of water for the most part from Philadelphia to Atlanta, which was fine. And you know, internet worked like normal. The the all the amenities on the flight, the, the crew was fabulous. They were really nice and very conscientious about the social distancing and any touching you know, as, as, as far as the interaction goes. Um, so that was, once again, it, it, was, uh, it was normal other than the face mask and receiving a baggie with a zip, you know, the Ziploc baggie with a, uh, a bottle of water and a snack in it. And uh, yeah. so very limiting. And then the question is, as everybody can, you know, when you're traveling, hey, can I get up and use the restroom? 
and and that wasn't an issue. So um, nobody should be worried about that. Right. So so what were some of the key takeaways from your trip? Did anything surprise you? Yeah, you know, I had a chance. Once I landed in Atlanta, I was actually very surprised of the volume of people that were, you know, I know it's, it, it is one of the busiest airports in the world, if not the busiest, one of the busiest airports, at least in the United States. Um, I was really surprised by the number of people within the terminal uh, walking around and you know, going for their uh, connections. Um, I would say about 90%, 85 to 90% of the people had their face masks on walking through the terminal in addition to uh, in the boarding area. So to wrap up, um, can you give us some of your top tips for business travelers looking to take their next flight? Yes. Uh, I think the, the nice thing about it is not much has changed other than you need the face mask and you need to kind of pre-plan for any type uh, uh, like your duration of your flight. So given that I was going to Atlanta, it was just at a little over two hours. So that's fine. Uh, so I had to kind of just, do I want to, you know, beverage, how do I plan for that? Um, if I want to have any type of liquid or, or a Santa wipe or a Purell in my uh, carry-on bag, which I just brought my briefcase with me uh, with uh, my laptop. So put it in there. That was fine. I constantly had that. And don't be afraid. I, I, mean, I just felt that everybody is trying to do the same thing and trying to get some sort of normalcy into the travel experience and Delta made it feel very comfortable for that. And um, it was a good experience. And like I said, the face mask was on the entire time, other than when I was drinking my bottle of water or coffee, you just kind of have to play around with it a little bit. But other than that, that was the, I think the, the biggest challenge was to how to navigate the face mask and then just your social distancing. But yeah, back to that's normal. great. Yeah. That's good to hear, it's good to hear. Thanks, Joe. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us today and look out for more videos of our journey back to business and what it's really like out there.